Welcome back to Street Signs. Have we got a market forecaster for you? Now, this is a man who said that the markets would peak on May 10th, and guess what? They did. He also said U.S. equity markets would bottom out on June 14th, and once again, they did just that. Right now, he says we are headed for another short-term low this week. Here's the really good part. He doesn't pay any attention to the market news. This is all about the numbers. Our guest today is Charles Nenner. He is the founder of Cycle Forecaster, and he's with us today to tell us what to expect. Uh, Charles, you've been right, uh, exactly, dead on right on some of these dates. So a lot of people are wondering what happens this week. What, what do you think is happening this week? Last time I was on, uh, we talked about a high in the July 10th and a low, I think, around 8th or 9th of August. That's still what we're looking for. We're looking for a low by the, eight, uh, by the end of the week. By tomorrow or the end of the week, end we're looking week. at a low. And then a small move up till uh, September 4th, 5th. And then it's not finished yet. Then we'll go down one more time. And then we bottom by the end of the year. And then 2007 should be a very good year for the uh, stock market. But basically, over the next month, you're looking at things kind of picking up. Yeah, but uh, don't chase it. It's going to come down one more time until the end of the year. One more time to the end of the year, and then you see thing, good things happening. You've very also, good things happening the, next year. You've also been watching the Fed funds target. We've right. got the Fed meeting tomorrow. What do you think is going to be happening with interest rates? Well, uh, I think they, uh, they're almost done. Everybody says that, but uh, I brought a chart, I don't know if you can show it, that shows my cycle work, and cycles on the Fed funds are already turning down. Here's the, here's the chart right here. So uh, you see they're turning down, and they're down into uh, the middle of 2009. So they might do it one more time, but then, um, then it should be finished, and the Fed funds should, should go lower slowly. So that's good news. If I'm out there trying to buy a house right now, trying to lock in a mortgage, the good news is you see things continuing to drop from here, well, so first, I still have time. First of all, I won't buy a house. I think that we are <laughs> in, we're in, in for a substantial drop on the, on the housing market. Okay, so stay away from housing, but let's say I need to refinance my mortgage. Then you're not in a hurry. Not in a hurry. I've got not a little bit hurry. of time to hang out. Okay, right. let's talk about what's been happening with the NASDAQ. What do you right. see happening with NASDAQ cash flows? Well, I, I watch different, a lot of different things. One of the things I watch is the cash flowing in and out the NASDAQ and the build cycles. And as you see on the, on the lower part of the, uh, of the chart, you have the prediction of what's going to happen with the cash flowing into the NASDAQ. And you see right. that the, the flow is still negative for the NASDAQ until the middle of December. And then we have a turnaround point, and then you see it's flowing into the NASDAQ and probably from into most of the markets for the whole of 2007. Uh, which is uh, going to be a very good year for the stock market. Well, let's talk about the Dow, too. You have another chart that, that indicates a little bit of where you're expecting the peaks and the, and the highs for the Dow. Right. This is a, this is a Dow Composite uh, chart. I brought it because it's interesting that the Dow Composite is performing so well. So the cycles are, uh, are bottoming. Uh, it says 1107. It's, it's a monthly chart. I would say they really show a good low by the end of December. And then you see they're going up till February 08. Um, I calculated an upside target, not for this one, but for the Dow Industrials, and I came to uh, 14,580. That's my upside target until the, uh, the highest point for 2007. Uh, Charles, how do you do this? This is, this is not something where you're necessarily talking to people or watching headlines. This is all no. mathematical? It's, uh, I, I uh, have a deterministic view on, on the world and especially on financial markets. So it's going wherever it's going. Whatever happens in the outside world has no influence. People have been amazed because you have hit these dates to the day when you said things would either pick up or drop off. Who are your clients? Um, I've been with Goldman for about uh, seven, eight years. I'm still their consultant. And now they're my client among other major hedge funds. And the hedge funds like to know uh, when stocks, uh, stocks are bottoming and when they're topping. And so do our viewers. And you're saying right now you're looking at uh, things really dropping out, hitting a bottom right now, up Make until the beginning of September. Don't chase it. Get in by the end of the year and stay long for the whole of 2007. Well, that is good news and something a lot of people enjoy hearing. Charles, thank you for coming in today. You're we welcome. do appreciate it.